Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Market Pantry Fuji Apple Sparkling Water Beverage. So this does not call itself water. It calls itself a water beverage. Uh, that might be for like re legal reasons or something. So it's not like technically calling itself water. Next up is Super Chill Unflavored Seltzer. And this also, it doesn't really say water on the front of it. So maybe I shouldn't even be reviewing this at all. But seltzer is just carbonated water. And that's actually the only ingredient in this. It's just, just carbonated water. Um, so these two are very similar looking bottles. They're the same type of shape, same kind of lid. The Market Pantry one is from Target. The Super Chill one is from Shop and Save. The Super Chill one was 75 cents. Um, both of these are sort of in the shape of pure aqua sparkling water that I got from Aldi that had the flavor in it. It's like, you know, the same type of, bo type of bottle. The Market Pantry sparkling flavored waters also have other flavors. I'm just doing the Fuji Apple one. So what is a Fuji Apple? <laughs> the, well, we all know what an Apple is, but the definition of Fuji is a spun silk cloth fabric in plain weave, including um, fabrics made in Japan. So I I'm guessing there's some other definition for Fuji, or maybe a Fuji apple is a type of apple, and I'm just too stupid to know that. Okay, so this has zero calories, zero carbs, zero fat. This does have five milligrams of sodium. The super chill one also has five milligrams of sodium, but it also has no calories, no carbs, no fat, no sugar nothing in it. Like I said, it's only carbonated water. That's the only ingredients in this seltzer water. So, like, why would anybody buy a brand name of seltzer water if carbonated water is the only ingredient? Like, how could you mix, how could you mess that up? I mean, maybe the amount of carbonation is different from bottle to bottle, but other than that, like, what's the difference? So let's just open these up and do a taste test. Let's get this over with, basically. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Let's just keep going. Whatever. I'll clean this up later. It's like all over my keyboard and mouse and computer and stuff. This is the problem with carbonated waters and sparkling waters. I Hopefully, this does not do the same thing. Oh, crap. Good, 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 good. So right off the bat, I'm hating <laughs> this stupid seltzer water. It's like, literally, it's like all over the place. It's all over my pants and shorts and whatever. So let's do the taste test. Here we go. It tastes like an apple. <laughs> um, I don't know what Fuji tastes like, but this just tastes like an apple. Let's try the uh, seltzer water. Ugh. I don't like that. I mean, I guess I should like this because it's more like water because there's less ingredients. <laughs> so normally I do like stuff that's, that's more like water, but I don't like the taste of this. There are a lot of bubbles in this, though. I mean, obviously, because it exploded all over the place. It has to be very carbonated. So, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say, really. Um, this actually has a lot of bubbles, too. Look at that. So, anyway, I'm just going to say that the, um, the Apple one is the winner. because it tastes better. And I'm also going to go ahead and drink a, reg a regular cup of water because I do that in every episode of John Drinks Water. And it gets kind of debatable whether these two are actually water or not. So I'm just going to make it official with this cup of water.
So there you go. Thanks for watching.